All right, let's go to another question in the queue. You know what, Jen, you're just on a roll. So I'm going to hit up your other question. How do you navigate the world in regards to squashing internet conspiracy theories without being holier than thou? Help. That's an interesting question. Um, so do y'all remember, I think it was like 30 years ago in the heart, but it was less than two weeks ago in the real world. These text messages started flying around, people saying, yo, I got an inside track. I got somebody in Washington who says um, president's going to declare martial law, lock down the whole nation tomorrow, right? And like I, I got this from so many different, I got this in the same way that I used to get those Nigerian email scams or the like, you know, um, forward this message or you'll have bad luck for the next 10 years. Like I'm talking some early 2000s level Multiple people sending the same thing to the point, and they all claim to have like a credible source in Washington. And I was like, Yeah, listen here, Uncle Chuck from suburbia. You, I know you, like, you have you don't have no credible sources in Washington. So when the third person sent it and they claim to be the one with the credible Washington source, that's how I knew this was some bull. Um, so you can look for like a repeat signal um, in that sense. I have determined, uh, and then there's definitely friends and people I love who have shared things out of love that are just wrong. And I don't try to like talk down to people. Hell, I probably shared something that was wrong. You know what? If you've shared any information from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the odds are you've been sharing shit that's wrong. Like, this is a moving situation. And I know there's people at the CDC working very hard. I also suspect there's a lot of like weird political pressure and they are trying to protect the supply and sharing some things that aren't exactly true in terms of what kind of masks we should use, for example. So here's what I do. When I hear something new, I check out this Twitter list I created. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna just do so many, so many digital solids. So... If you go to my bio on LinkedIn, um, I threw a few things in that bio. You could sign up for my mailing list. You could join my text thing. But then there's some things that aren't about me, like you know the link to that Facebook video I just played you. That's in my LinkedIn bio link. And I just reactivated. I, have a, I built a Twitter list I call Trusted COVID-19 Sources. There's 11 accounts in this list. I'm not playing. And I got those accounts from a woman named Laurie Garrett, who I listen to on On The Media, one of the most essential podcasts of our time. She is an award-winning science writer. And the host, Brooke Gladstone, asked her, who should we trust in this time? And she rattled off a bunch of names. And so I just copied those names and threw them into the Twitter box, and I built a list. And slowly I've added a handful of others. Uh, so I got that list, and then a few other people have made lists. And so I just check against the list. If I don't see people there talking about it it's unverified it's probably not true and i just wait and i just wait for at least a credible media outlet or five to say the same thing because some some of what's happening in the current situation is what we know is changing things we thought were true are no longer true and that isn't a conspiracy theory that's not misinformation that's just a new virus and that's how that's how it works we think we know, we find out we're wrong, we update, we move forward. But then the other thing that can happen is you've got this political noise and you've got people who are, you know, Fox News of the world who are really, um, they're not great to be very, very, very generous. They're not great. And they see this as like a presidential moment uh, and that the virus was invented to like attack and undermine the president. Or you got these fake remedies flowing about there so, so you got people trying to take economic opportunity take economic advantage and you've got people doing the political advantage thing and so try to like filter those out i just i will go to my list um 